Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Pillars of Light, Energy Transfer from Earth's Core to Planet X. Now, figure one below shows pillars of light in the sky over Canada, which were seen on February 14, 2019, as reported by the YouTube channel Jason A. The official explanation is that it is created by ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. Amongst the light pillars, a lunar halo also appear, which you can see here, and the appearance of which is also supposedly due to ice crystals in the atmosphere. But as I have explained in previous articles, it is impossible that ice crystals can produce any regular pattern in the sky because ice crystals cannot be aligned with each other, resulting in light exiting each crystal at slightly different angles. And you may look at article 477 entitled Sun Halos Products of the Artificial Sky Simulation System. And here you can see these pillars of light in the sky over Canada. You can see that they appear to be in the foreground. They appear to be in front of features that are behind them, that are seen but yet are behind us. So they appear to be very close to the observer. And here is a lunar halo. And this can only be produced as a result of chromatic aberration through light passing through an artificial lens. And you can see that this appears to be in the foreground as well. It appears to be hanging in the air very close to the observer. So this is an artificial effect. It's being produced by the holographic projection system that's simulating our skies and hiding things in the sky. And you may look at Article 5 for Five entitled Planet X and Sun Halos, Aliens Covering Up, Sun Going Dark. And here I illustrate how real rainbows are created in the sky. It's through a refraction which occurs due to spherical liquid water droplets being in the atmosphere. And the water droplets, because they are spherical, the refracting surfaces are always spherical, so the angle at which light exits each droplet is always the same. But in the case of ice crystals, that is impossible because the ice crystals have straight line interfaces. And that means that the refraction is always different for each crystal. Plus, they are never aligned with each other. So the light exits at different angles. So you can never produce any regular pattern with light passing through ice crystals. The only way these regular patterns can appear is through the use of an artificial lens system. In addition, the images seem to be hugely magnified and to be in the foreground or closer to the observer because a holographic system is being used, which creates real three-dimensional images in the atmosphere. The system will incorporate lenses as well as a projection system which projects a pre-programmed light interference pattern in the sky. The holographic projection seems to be facilitated by the presence of chemtrail nanoparticles. And you may look at article 654 entitled chemtrails all being used to simulate the sky. And you can see a lens which is producing chromatic aberration because the different frequencies or wavelengths of light are refracted by slightly different amounts, which means that they are split up and seem to be uh, coming from a different position on an image, and that creates a rainbow effect. Now, um, this is a pillar of light which appeared in the sky over Pittsburgh on February 26, 2019. This one does not appear to be as neat as the one seen in the above figures, nor does it appear to be in the foreground and seems thus to be natural due to an interaction between planet X system stellar cores and the Earth. The beam appears to be encapsulated in a lighter colored layer. You can see this uh, more intense 
a magenta colored beam in the center and this less, less intense wet least lighter colored layer surrounding it which is not in a regular shape at all it seems to be triangular towards the bottom and because it does not have the same regular shape that we saw in those pillars of light in the foreground which were artificial and this does not even seem to be in the foreground it seems to be in the background it, there seems to be a real distance between the observer and that pillar of light so this appears to be a naturally produced phenomenon and so this beam appears to be as i said encapsulated in a lighter colored layer which is triangular towards the bottom and light seems to rise from the surface of the earth toward the sky so that's what it looks like it's a pillar rising up from the earth towards the sky and the objects the stellar cores absorb energy from the earth and it is likely therefore that the interaction may lead to light emission as we see occurring here this light pillar does indicates that most likely a very large stellar was in very close proximity to the earth at this time and it was creating this effect and here you can see some of these planet x system stellar cores these ones inside the earth's atmosphere these are most likely the smaller ones you can see this is a spherical object they are surrounded in a cloud envelope and here what seems to at first be a break in the clouds you can uh, see that it's actually a convex surface it, it's uh, spherical and curves downward so it's a, actually a spherical object poking through the clouds and these are most likely some of the smallest ones that do enter our atmosphere the larger ones are probably hidden uh, behind the the holographic uh, simulation system that they are using or at least they try very hard to hide them it's a bit hard to hide the pillars of light that seem to now be occurring underneath them but um, through them we can see that there are things there thus the appearance of pillars of light which are simple straight lines of light which appear to be very close i.e. in the foreground seem to be used to cover up the fact that sometimes pillars of light appear which are not artificially produced but are due to a large stellar being close to the earth the interaction causing energy to transfer from the earth's core to the object resulting in the appearance of a beam of light from the surface beaming energy up toward the object and this is how that pillar of light uh, first looked as it appeared in the sky over pittsburgh and you can see again that it does not seem to be in the foreground it doesn't seem to be right in front of you as these are these seem to be projections in the sky and of course where does the light come from to produce these it's nighttime how where is the light coming from the moon is not emitting these lights this can only be due to an artificial light as you can see it has to be an artificial light there has to be a source for the light well in this one which is natural the source is actually the earth's core but these ones are not the same as those these are artificially produced it's almost like we are in a 3d cinema looking at um, an artificially produced pro a three-dimensional projection in the air and that's exactly what this is but this appears to be natural and so is this and you can see that it was faint in the beginning it was red and then later on it turned magenta and that suggests that the energy being transferred increased in energy as uh, time went by so we have the pillars of light as it first appeared there and here we have the artificially produced one they simply look artificial because they are so close to the observer just like the sun simulators in the sky they're the product of the holographic projection system and here we have the light pillar which grew and became brighter and changed colors to magenta indicating increasing energy being transferred directly from the earth up to the planet x object hovering above 
and look how much light there was then in the sky and you see that this uh, house looks blue. It looks blue because the kind of light that is emanating from the atmosphere due to the energy transfer, and the energy transfer is in the form of electrons, that transfer from the surface of the Earth up into the atmosphere towards the object. And some of these electrons are absorbed by the matter in the atmosphere, and that leads to light emission. That's why we can see these pillars. And that light emission is in the violet range. So there's a lot of blue light in the sky, and that causes everything to look bluish. And you can see this house looks very blue there. And for more details on the energy transfer, you may look at Article 655 entitled The Destruction of the Planet X Planets and the Electron. So in conclusion, it is impossible that light pillars are produced by ice crystals. These effects are the result of the artificial sky simulation system, which is in operation and is being used to hide Planet X in our skies and in the Earth's atmosphere. Naturally occurring light pillars seem to be due to energy transferring from the Earth's core to a stellar core, and the artificially produced light pillars seem to be an effort to cover up the naturally produced light pillars. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.